name is it's your boy Ernie Schefter, aka Drunk Wizard, aka Mr. Know It All, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber, aka I'm learning to try to do this shit on my own because Lacey's gonna be fucking gone for a week, so she's abandoning me. So I gotta fucking be Big Boy Ernie, and that shit always makes me a little nervous. I'm gonna change it all twisted up. Jesus Christ, this is not how I wanna start this video. So, I'm, I'm hold on, pause. It, it's Sean like to say pause. All right, all right. Ernie, focus yourself. Woosa. I have been cooking on this video for quite a while. I found the concept of this video uh, actually very interesting. I've actually talked about it before, but it's something I wanted to make a video on. Everyone always talks about how much, uh, oh, the Patriots are the biggest cheaters ever. Patriots, eh, eh, the flame footballs, eh, eh. And it's so fucking stupid. Like, realistically, like, let's be honest here. It's just dumb. It's so stupid. Like, you, I wish you guys understood how dumb you sound. So tonight, I'm going to tell you who the biggest cheaters in the history of the NFL really are. are Y'all ready? It's the... Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos are the most cheatingest team in the history of the NFL. Well, Ernie, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I digress. Ho, ho, ho. My name is Pierre. It makes lots of sense. I will tell you right now. Let's go to the trusty, dusty notebook. So, in total, in total, two different, two different situations. In total, now keep in mind, these this was in the early nineties and or late nineties and early two thousands. Denver got fined a total of almost two million dollars and they lost multiple draft picks. Multiple high draft picks. In their first occurrence they lost nine nine hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars and a third rounder. Second was nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a third rounder. Well, Ernie, what did they do? All right, so y'all think deflating footballs are bad, right? Like messing with the temperature of a football. First of all, if you think adjusting the fucking inflation of, fucking of a football is cheating, you're fucking stupid. Don't be stupid. Be smart. Be smart. Jesus Christ. Like if you really think, yo, I can't save you. If you, I, I, Ernie, Ernie, focus. I know, I know bro. I'm going to work. All right, Ernie, all right, all right. All right. So, um, let me get back on topic, real shit. So, from 96 to 98, and in 2001, the Denver Broncos deferred payments to Terrell Davis and, and Elway to keep the team together. Because without those deferred payments, uh, they would have had to have cut Terrell Davis. Or... It, they would have had to make a drastic movement in the roster. No one understands. This is this is the biggest cheating scandal that, for whatever reason, no one ever talks about. If you're a true football fan, go look this shit up. I'm telling you, this is the I've ne I I can't believe people don't ever fucking talk about this shit. They never fucking talk about this shit. We're talking. Late 90s and early 2000s, and they were fined almost two million dollars. The Patriots were fined a million dollars, and that was in like fucking mid two. Like it just it doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. I realize it's easy to make fun for, for you guys to hate on the Patriots because they're a great franchise, and for whatever people fucking hate greatness. But what the Denver Broncos did was the single most. I've never seen cheating in such a direct way in sports. It led to a Super Bowl. It led to a fucking Super Bowl, you dumb fox. It led to a Super Bowl. Meanwhile, the Patriots recorded the Jets. The Jets, what the fuck have the Jets ever done? They, look, I will say this. The the recording the Jets thing, that that was, all right, that's sketchy. I'll give you guys that. But this deflated football shit, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Stop. STOP, motherfuckers. Stop. Y'all sound dumb. You sound like a Roger Rabbit motherfucker. Never sound like a Roger Rabbit motherfucker. So, while y'all are out here talking about, oh, the Patriots are deflating footballs. Oh, the Patriots are doing this. Meanwhile, the Denver Broncos won a Super Bowl on deferring payments on multiple occasions. Multiple occasions. Go look this shit up. Why does no one ever talk about this shit? 
Arnie Shafter is talking about this shit. That's why y'all come here. Give me all the truth up in this motherfucker. I'll make sure I, won't, I ain't miss nothing. So, guys, remember, when you think about the biggest cheaters in the history of the NFL, it's not the Patriots. It's not the Patriots, and it's not even close. So stop. Chill. Pump your brakes. Chill. Chill. Just chill. Mm. We are going to go ahead and take a shot for our haters, though. And we're going to take a shot for our supporters. Uh, there are some been some things recently. I don't want to go too far deep into it because I know no one really gives a fuck about my personal life. But at work, and now I had a a really serious family issue that I don't, I don't really want to get into on a video. But I do want to say thank you guys for all your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your grandmas. Tell everyone. Hit the bell. Watch the videos. Uh, be there for the lives. We'll be live all day Sunday. We'll be live for the Lomachenko fight Saturday night, 9 o'clock. Be there, motherfuckers. Be there, motherfuckers. I missed anything? I don't think so. Fat Casper Mafia! Army Army! Stand up. Skirt, skirt! Now, see, this is a weird thing I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to lean over and hit stop because Lacey won't be here. So, this is going to be weird.